Hello Cancer, this is your reading for the 5th through the 7th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming to support. And let's see what messages do we have for my Cancers. Cancer in love. Please show me messages for Cancer. Three of Wands. I feel a level of confidence within you. Um, I, I think that you are sure about what it is that you want, sure about what you want to do even, okay? And I feel like, you know, there's been some communication between you and someone else. Um, you know, really not continuous communication, but nevertheless communication, okay? Aries energy there. The Nine of Pentacles. I feel like there's more that you want um, currently in your life. I feel like, you know, I feel like your health is good. I feel like, you know, your finances are stable. Your home life is stable. But there, there's still, you know, there's something missing for you. Okay. Let's see what this says. There's something missing for you. And then we have the Lover's Energy there. Gemini energy. There's somebody who you're thinking about. What is this? And then the Seven of Swords. There's somebody who you're thinking about. Somebody who either walked away from you or you walked away from them. But whoever left the situation is looking back with regret. Um, and they know that how they left the situation was probably not right or the best way. Okay. Aquarius energy. <clears throat> Please show me more about the Three of Wands energy here. Ten of Swords. There's something I feel like you're just over, like mentally. You're just over, you're over the overthinking. You're over trying to rationalize something here. Trying to make excuses for something or someone. And I feel like you have communicated that to someone. You've communicated that to someone. I'm feeling like you guys have gained some closure in a situation. Okay. Please should be more about the Nine of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah. You definitely want something more than what you have going on right now. You want a relationship um, that is, you know, reciprocal in nature. You don't want to share the person that you're with. You don't want to feel like you're, you're doing more, you want more, or you care for them more than they care for you. You want more for yourself. Please show me the lover's energy here. Please show me more about the lover's energy here. The eight of pentacles. Hmm. You're wanting to invest in someone who is loyal. You're wanting to build with somebody who you feel um you can have a long-term committed relationship, maybe even marriage with. And you're protecting your interest. You're protecting your interest here. I don't feel you guys settling for less. I'm definitely feeling like um, you are standing your ground. Even though, you know, you miss someone, I'm feeling like you guys know that a connection was not serving you. It was not what you needed. And you definitely are looking for more. You're looking for reciprocity. You're looking for somebody that wants to invest just as much time and energy into building connection as into building a connection as you do. Please show me more about the Seven of Swords. Please show me more about the Seven of Swords. Then the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. 
Then we have the hanged man under the bottom of the deck there. This is definitely somebody who has made a mistake and they know it. They want to rebuild something with you. They want to apologize to you. They are out of sorts without you. I'm feeling Taurus Virgo energy here. Gemini, Aquarius, Aries energy is here as well okay so let's see what energy is actually coming towards you guys what energy is coming in for cancer what energy is coming in for cancer what energy is coming in for cancer hmm. death scorpio energy there what else? Six of Cups, also Scorpio energy. Hmm. Somebody's reminiscing here. Somebody is ending something. I'm feeling like this person has changed has changed their ways. I don't know if they've changed enough to make a difference for you guys, but I'm definitely feeling like this person has changed their deceitful ways. And definitely they are feeling this soulmate, um, this familial connection with you. They're reminiscing about you. They are um, I'm feeling daydreaming about you, the good times. They're also feeling like there's nothing that they can do to change the situation. They know what they've done. Okay. Please show me more about the death energy. Eight of Wands definitely changed. This person has changed. This person also wants to communicate. They probably live far away or get distance away. This person has probably been trying to reach out to you guys here. Hmm. Most definitely, because again, I'm feeling like, you know, you guys have been communicating, but you know what? The thing is, you may have communicated with this person and not have known it. So if you guys are getting like calls from unknown numbers, private numbers, numbers that you have never seen before, um, there's a possibility that somebody is, is calling you just for you to pick up the phone so they can hear your voice. Okay, for some reason I am getting that. Yeah. Let's see. Sagittarius energy there. Please show me more about the Six of Cups energy. Six of Swords. They want balance and harmony in their life, honestly. Um, and they want they would like to communicate how they feel to you. But what I'm getting is that this person is almost ashamed of, of certain behaviors, um, certain things that they've done that they really do not want to acknowledge. It's hard for them to acknowledge or accept responsibility for what they've done. So when they communicate, whether it's via Facebook and through a fake profile or um, calling you on the phone and from a number that you don't recognize or something like that, that's about as much as they will do that I see currently. 
because they're really not ready to have that true one-on-one -on -one conversation um, because they know that you know this elephant in the room is, is going to have to be addressed. Okay. So I think I told you guys all the signs and um, that's what I have for you guys. So I will be speaking with you guys soon.